A retired doctor who treated 23 people accidentally infected with HIV in the 1980s has denied that he put his research before their safety. Professor Christopher Ludlam was director of the Edinburgh Haemophilia Centre when his patients contracted the virus through contaminated blood products. David Cowan reports on the doctor's fourth day of evidence at the infected blood inquiry. Professor Christopher Ludlam was director at the Edinburgh Haemophilia Centre at the city's Royal Infirmary when reports of AIDS began to emerge from the United States. In 1983, he began an AIDS study of his own, checking blood samples from his patients. He told the inquiry he hadn't needed their consent because it was part of general monitoring. The inquiries heard that around this time, 10 haemophiliacs in the United States contracted HIV through a contaminated batch of a blood product called Factor VIII. In Edinburgh, Professor Ludlam was treating his patients with Factor VIII, but it was made with blood donated in Scotland. No cases of AIDS had been reported in Scotland at the time, so he felt it was relatively safe. But a year later, in 1984, it was discovered that 16 of his patients had been infected with the virus. Professor Ludlam's AIDS study had been published in Lancet. At the inquiry, he was asked if he'd put his research first. No. No, 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 no. Treatment decisions were driven by what seemed to be best for, for the patient. 23 of the Edinburgh patients contracted HIV. Only two are known to still be alive. It was a terrible tragedy. Um, I always try and learn from experiences. Um, I'm sure I could have done things better than I did. The inquiry will continue to focus on events in Scotland next week. David Cowan, Reporting Scotland.